Hello guys, today I'm answering another question on YouTube comments. Would you make a video about pagination with cache in Laravel? And I've seen that question popping up from time to time a few times already, so enough for me to make a video about that. To be honest, I haven't used cache with pagination specifically, but I know the problem and I will try to show it in this video and I will try to suggest my own way of solving that but that's not the only way. So please in the comments be active in suggesting your own solutions. So I guess this video will be not that helpful as much from my side, but together with you in the comments, we will help anyone who encounters this problem. And in general, I would raise a question, why would you use cache with pagination? But step by step. So a demo project of list of users, very simple demo with debug bar installed at the bottom so you would see how many queries or are there any queries under the hood. So we refresh the page, we get the users for the first page with two queries as it should be with pagination. We go to the second page, another set of users, another two queries. Good. And in the code, we have simply paginate the users with default pagination and getting those users to the blade file. Now, what if you want to introduce the cache here? So cache the page one, page two, and page three respectively. It's easy to add a cache if you cache all the records. For example, result of such query, you just add cache remember, duration, and the result of eloquent query is your cache data. But what about pagination? How would it work if we just add cache remember here? And I have tried to do that. So cache remember, key, let it be users. Then let's save it for an hour. So 60 seconds times 60 minutes. And we use cache here on top. What would be the result? So let's clear the cache just in case and go to page one. And we will see two queries. But if we refresh the page, we see zero queries, which means it goes from cache. But the problem arises if you click page two, then although page two is here, it's taking the data from the cache and shows the first page. Let's try to click page three and see what happens. Page three, the data still doesn't change. So adding the cache to paginated query is not that easy. We cannot just assign the result to users because users then refers to the first page all the time the solution or one of the potential solutions may be to save the data for each of the pages separately. So the key would be users page and for example, request page or default if it doesn't exist, page one. So now we have different keys for different pages and let's see how it works. Again, let's clear the cache and let's go to the first page. So click users here. It gets the data from the database, as you can see. And if we refresh, it doesn't get it from the database. That's good. And if we go to page two, now it shows page two from the database. Again, caches page two. Let's try page five, for example. I think it shows page five correctly. And if we now go to page two, it should come from the cache. Yep, it does. So now in the cache, you have separate pages, each with their own key. That is great. But now the problem becomes how and when to clear that cache. Generally, you would clear the cache whenever the records are changed. So for example, with model observer in Eloquent or some events or something like that. But we have a lot of cache records now. The solution to that is in the observer file where you observe for the changes. One of the potential solutions, again, add your own opinion in the comments, but in the observer, you should clear the cache on every created, updated and deleted. And that clear cache could be a private function inside of that observer, which deletes the cache for as many pages as you want. For example, it could be 100 or whatever is the number. I don't think anyone would navigate manually to bigger page than 100, but who knows. So now if we launch, for example, artisan tinker and change some data, for example, we do user first, and then update that user. I have that in the history, update the name, for example, it returns true. And now the first page or second page or any page should come not from the cache, but have the query here, refresh. And we do have those queries because they take the real data, the updated data and not from the cache. Let's see page one also with the query, but if we refresh it, now it comes from the cache because nothing was changed in the meantime. And we see the name John here appearing on the top.
So this is my kind of way. I know it's not ideal. I know it's not pretty to clear the cache like that. What do you think? What would you suggest? And also generally, I'm not a fan of using cache with paginated data or with any data that is dynamic and potentially has a lot of different cache values. Cache is great for pretty static amount of data. For example, some report that could be cached for a day or for an hour, some number that could be also cached for some time because the possibility is pretty low that it would change in an hour or so. But to cache paginated data and to cache every page, it's a pretty risky strategy if you ask me because you're risking to lose some data in the cache, show the cached data instead of real data or vice versa, or maybe even lose the track of what is cached and what isn't. Again, what do you think? Share in the comments below and let's discuss. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.